What's going on? My name is Jay and in this video I want to show you how you can add a step-by-step -step guide to your website or your web app. Here I am in the intro.js website and if I click on this demo button you can see what I'm talking about. So it's like a, you can call it a like instructions or um, a tour, tutorial, something. They will show you and then you can click next and then read about it and then next and then keep reading. Um, a lot of web apps and websites do this when they update the website and there's a lot of new things and new features. They want to show you what they are, how they work, etc. So I think this is a great option if you have um, a new website and you want to show your clients what's new. So let's go ahead. I'm going to close this. And I'm going to start by adding the CSS and the JavaScript. So let's go ahead. And um, for now, I'm going to use CDN links. But you can go ahead and go to the intro.js website and download the JavaScript and CSS files. But for now, I'm just going to copy and paste them. Okay. Let's go ahead here and um, above my CSS file, I'm going to paste there in the intro.min.css and then before my body um, close. And I'm going to copy and paste the intro.min.js file. And then I'm going to add my own JavaScript file. So let's go ahead and do that. It's going to be empty for now. Is the main.js. Let's save that file. And if I go here, this is my main.js file is totally empty. So for now, what I want to do before I start coding some JavaScript, I want to make sure I know what I'm going to tell the user and what is step one, step two, etc. Right. So for example, step one, let's do this paragraph like step one. So I'm just going to add an ID of step one, for example, it doesn't have to be step one, it can be whatever you want. And it can be a class, it doesn't have to be an ID, but an ID is more like a unique, right? So this is not it's not going to be another step one. So that's what I'm using an ID. And same thing, I'm just going to copy this. And let's say I have a button, a register button. So this is going to be the step two. Whoops. So right here, step two. Okay, and maybe this upload files button is a step three. All right, so let's say that that's what I want. Save that. And now I'm ready to go to my main.js file and start coding. So first, let's create a variable. So let's do const intro. It doesn't have to be intro. This variable can be whatever you want. Um, is equal to intro JS. All right, that's very important. And now I'm going to add some options and the steps like step one, step two, what is it? So I'm going to do intro dot set options. All right, just like this. And now inside this, we're going to do steps. And the steps are you know, a list of steps. That's what it is. So we need to do brackets because it's an array of things. Um, and here, for example, is going to be the first one is the intro. Just like this, it's going to be a string. So we can say welcome to our new website. Let's take a tour. Close that. And remember, let's if you want to do this, you need to do this. There you go. That's, that's what you need to do. Sorry. And that's the intro. Now um, let's do comma and another brackets. And now the step one and we created the ID. So let's go ahead and make sure that we did that we did and added the IDs. Let's do step one first right here. So let's do element. And is an ID of step one. And then comma and the intro. And what is it? Um, let's say, please read this it is very important. 
that's an example, right? All right, so now after we have, um, we have these options, we need to now run and make sure it runs when the website loads. So all you have to do is intro dot dot start. Let's save that. And here you go. We have the introduction. It says, welcome to your new website. Let's take a tour. And now you have this, you know, buttons. We have only a next button. We don't have the back. It's, it seems like it's disabled. We have the skip button. That way, you know, if you don't want to do the whole thing, let's click next. And you go, that is now going to the paragraph. And you can see, please read this is very important. All right. So let's make sure that um, we are going to a specific element in the intro. That's what I want. Um, you don't have to, but I want to. So let's do, let's just put um, introduction here. And let's make sure that I don't know, this H1 has an idea of introduction. Let's, let's see if that works. Save that and save this. There you go. So now the intro is the whole thing, this headline, and it says, welcome to your website. Let's take a tour. Now I'm going to click next and it's going down to this paragraph. Please read this. It's very important. Now my step three is going to be on this register button. I'm going to go to my HTML, making sure that that's correct. It's actually my step two here, but you know, I added this um, intro here. So let's copy and paste this. Let's change it to step two. And this is going to say register. Or you can say click here to register. All right. Next and next goes up here. Click here to register. And then you can see that because that's the last one is set. There's a done button. You click done and you're good. But if I reload this page, it goes, goes back. I can click skip and that's it, right? You don't have to do it. Now, one thing I want to do is you, let's say you, you click a button and you want to start the whole thing again. So let's, let's just choose this support button. We can change it to something else, but this support button. Let's add a class here very quick. Uh, we can say start steps. It can be whatever you want, honestly. And what I'm going to do, let me save that. What I'm going to do down here, I'm going to do document dot query selector. I'm going to do the start steps. And here I'm going to do, I'm going to add event listener. It's going to be a click. So if I click that button with this class, start steps, making sure that this is the correct class. Yep. All right. I'm going to run a function. And that function is the intro start. Let's save that. So let's say that I skip this or for some reason I closed it or it's done and you want to go back. I can click this button and it starts again. It doesn't have to be that button. Of course, you don't want to support and then do this. Maybe it's going to be like start. I don't know. Tutorial start the tour, start something um, or take the tour again, something like that. And then it starts again and you can see that it works just fine. So right now, one thing that I want to do before I'm good with it and I'm happy with it, um, I want to change the theme. I want to make sure it looks you know, a little bit better. They have a bunch of themes that you can choose from or you can you know, create your own CSS. But I have here one that is, is modern and I like it. So I'm just going to copy and paste the CSS. Go back to the HTML. 
in here before, actually after the CSS, you're gonna paste the new CSS. And you can say it says intro JS hyphen modern. Let's save that. Here you go. And you can see um, right here doesn't doesn't look that good because of all the text, but I think it looks cool. Next, you can see it's more modern. It's like a dark version. There you go. And then you're done. So I hope this was very helpful. This is just the basics. Go to the intro JS website, take a look at everything they have. But for now, that's it. Subscribe if you want to keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye bye.